Perhaps it's Alec Baldwin. Hi, welcome to Matt Connors and Unleashed. Who's this? Hello, this is Gene Simmons of Kiss. Gene Ooh. Simmons of Kiss. Wow, I haven't heard from you in a while, uh, Gene Simmons. How are you? The uh, woman he ran Met- parked on has recovered. Oh, good. So he can yes. come back to Manchester. Very nice. Can I, can I speak? Can I speak, Mr. Hopper? Can I speak? <laughs> I, I, I didn't. I didn't call into the show to hear your soliloquy. Can I speak? Mm, okay. Let's be respectful to Gene Th- Simmons of thank Kiss. You. Yes, thank, it wasn't me that parked thank on you. the woman. He is the god of thunder, you know. Ooh. Yes. Yeah, go ahead, Gene Simmons of Kiss. What can we uh, do for you? Couple of things. Couple yes. of things. First of all, it's very rare that I am. In a very pissy mood today. Oh my goodness! Wow, I've never seen you uh, upset. I'm very upset today. Yes. Did Paul Stanley do, do something that's upset you? It's the whole band. Oh no, the whole band. Everything is getting under my skin today. Let's just say I have woman troubles, Matt. Ooh. Oh, you and Ooh. Shannon uh, on the rocks? Is oh, those that what's Canadian. Going on? Uh, 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 if that's what you want to call her, I don't call her Shannon. You know what I call her, Matt. But I don't call her Shannon. <laughs> oh, you know, boy. you know what I call her. You know what I call her, and um, I can I, I can uh, never get a break with this one. Anyway, I um, just heard your last story, and it kind of cheered me up a little bit about uh, Alec, my good friend Alec Baldwin, by the way. Yes. We were uh, discussing this personally. Uh, he told me about his decision oh. over drinks the other night. He had a drink. I had Yuhu. Yes, the way. you I are. You, drink. you are a Yogi, non-drinker. Yes, Yogi Berra's drink. Yuhu. Oh wow, mm. that's correct. I'm a good friend of Yogi Berra as well, or I was. <laughs> I was going to say <laughs> before he bit the big one. Yes, <laughs> we both shared Yuhus and baseball stories quite right. often. Oh. Very nice. But I would like to announce that I would like to do the Donald Trump impersonation on Saturday Night Live in place of Alec Baldwin. Hmm. I think that's a fine idea, Gene Simmons of Kiss. I would love that. But won't that interfere with your tour? You you guys are on the end of the road tour. In fact, right now you're currently touring Europe. Isn't that going to get in the way? I'm flying back home. Oh, well, all right. All right. I decided today because I'm in such a pissy mood that I'm flying back home. Wow. And oh. you know, the thing of it is, Matt, is about 25 minutes ago, I wasn't in a pissy mood. Right. And then I had a brief encounter, and uh, I uh, became in a very pissy mood because of this brief encounter. <laughs> Well, a brief encounter, that can mean many things. That's that's true. Yes, I had a discussion with somebody I shouldn't have, and oh. uh, it caused me to be in a very pissy mood. Did you get into an argument with Ace Fraley? I was thinking, she, was she stacked? <laughs> Ooh. Mm. It's that yeah, time of could, year. I guess you could call this, I guess you could call this person Ace Fraley. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wow, that's uh, that's very unfortunate, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Uh, have you discussed uh, anything with Lauren Michaels uh, as far as uh, playing uh, President Trump on Saturday Night Live? In fact, in fact, from now on, Matt, mm. when we refer to this person, I'm going to call her Ace Frehley. Okay, I think I know who you are, uh, who you might be referring to, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Yes. Wow. Anyway, I'm sorry, what was the last question that you had, Matt? Uh, I was just asking uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss if you had uh, spoken with Lauren Michaels at all about uh, portraying Donald Trump on Saturday Night Live. It is ultimately up to him, you know. I'm going to call him uh, as soon as I got to phone you. Yes, yes. I notice, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss, you don't sound quite as much like Gene Simmons of Kiss as you usually do uh, when you uh, well, who, interact who, with us as Gene Simmons of Kiss. I'm going <laughs> to... I'm in a pissy mood today, Matt. Oh, right. Yes, that's that's why. That's why you don't sound quite and, uh, yourself. <laughs> and I don't have my makeup on. Oh, right. Yes, I understand. Well, very good. All right. Is uh, is Mr. Hopper there? Yes, I'm wondering if you wear a wig now, Ooh. or hairpiece. No, that's uh, 
that question. Did you have to ask that question on uh, a day that I'm in a very pissy mood? <laughs> well, to play Donald Trump, you're going to have to wear a blonde or orange hairpiece. That's a good point, yeah. Orange, mm. more orange than blonde, yes. Now, Matt, let me ask you a question. Yes. Later on, when you upload this to YouTube, are you going to find a picture by doing a Google search of Gene <laughs> Simmons' pissy mood? Is that what you're going to keyword? That uh, very well. Well, maybe not quite that uh, exactly, but uh, something uh, similar, yes. A facsimile thereof, as we say. I haven't been more pissy since the time we were in New York and somebody was pointing a laser light between Paul Stanley's eyes. Yes. <laughs> I remember that. I was in a really pissy mood that night. Yes, yes. You should think of better times. I read, read in Penthouse Magazine around 1977 that you once had sex with a groupie in Tokyo uh, on uh, top of the commode. Is that true? You know, Mr. Hopper, you're not cheering me up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I will leave the other part of that story out. Uh, maybe, you know... It is personal. It is, yes. Oh, yeah. You know, I hate everything. Wow. This is very unusual, Gene Simmons of Kiss. You're usually much more positive. Yes. Well, not today. I'm going to write a song in honor of today. Wow. What's it going to be called? Pissy. I have no idea. Pissy. In fact, that's the title of it. I have no idea. Wow. All right. Oh, I know. I, I know. How about uh, from your uh, from your solo album... Uh, you have a song called uh, "If I Had a Gun." Maybe that would be an appropriate uh, if song. If I had a gun, do I really love gun? Yes, if you, I had a love. Yes, gun. you do. From your uh, your solo album, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, Two thousand nine, uh, titled "A Hole." Uh, you have a song called "If I Had a Gun." Well, remember, do I have a solo album called "A Hole"? Yes, you do. It never occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that, did you, Gene Simmons of Kiss? No, there you get older, you get blackouts. I, I have them frequently. Right, yes. Yes, the memory kind of sloughs off. It does. <laughs> Certainly, yes. Do you, do you hear it playing in the background? Oh, wait, here's the here's the chorus, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Hang on, let me turn this up. If I had a gun. There you go, Gene Simmons of Kiss. You remember uh, writing and recording that? I do. In fact, that was uh, my wedding song. <laughs> wow, no kidding. Yes. <laughs> Well, very, very, very interesting. What? Where, did you not want to get married? Was that all just for the uh, for the show for uh, Gene Simmons Family Jewels? I love Shannon. I know you do. Well, I thought you were uh, okay. After a certain amount of time shacked up together, uh, the community property laws doesn't matter whether you're married or not. In California, it's ten years, right? Because that's where they yeah. live. After 10 years, it's... It also affects even if you're married, you're divorced. Tom Cruise got ma divorced from Nicole Kidman before the 10-year mark. Oh. Because it all adds up. Yes. I don't know about prenups. I'm like, uh... Right. Well. You know, Mr. Hopper, I had an idea. Are you going to be the lyricist for uh, our new musical, Nimrod? So do you not want to hear my idea? Is that, is that why you came back with that? Or? What are you, a psychologist? Yes, let's hear your idea, Mr. Simmons. All right, well, now that the great Mr. Baseball has passed on to better baseball fields, I was wondering if uh, you wanted a uh, co-host and sure. called me Mr. Simmons of Kiss. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on here. Hang on. Uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. I don't mean to question you, sir. How about but Mr. Kiss. But I am the Kiss fan in the room. You, 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 you. It never occurred to you to uh, want to be my co-host. You, you want to be John Hopwood's co-host. I didn't think you would have me. Oh. 
Gene Simmons of Kiss. I, I mean, I would prefer Paul Stanley because Paul's always been my favorite. But uh, I would take you. Oh, that streak of cruelty. I would even take Peter Chris. Cruelty. Like against Easy G. I'm kidding. I wouldn't take Peter Chris. But I would take Eugene. Well, what about Ace? I, I, yeah. I would like to be a guest. I would like to be a co-host, I should say, on Mr. Hopper's show because I would barely have to say anything. He does all the talking. <laughs> well, that's a good point. Hey, Jim O'Connell uh, gives me a run for the money. That's true. Yes. Yes. And I hear the cameraman is outstanding on his show. <laughs> he's all right. It, it, de- it depends. It he, depends on the subject. He's okay. Just don't bring up the homeless with him. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yes. We'll get one angle all night long, and it'll just be me. <laughs> not uh, he. And sometimes when I don't talk, he just leaves the camera on me as an editorial comment. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, maybe, don't think I haven't did, noticed did that. Did you ever think that maybe he does that on purpose because he likes yes. to watch you play with your cell phone? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you do play with your cell phone a lot, don't you there, uh, John Hopkins? Well, Heidi Hamer's sending me obscene messages. Oh! Ooh, Not obscene in the sense of, uh, you know, let's do it or anything. Just oh, that right. You're an a-hole. If I can quote <laughs> uh, Gene Simmons right. from 2009. Yes. Well, yes. here's the deal, Mr. Hopper. I will do this on one condition. Yes. You, you changed the name of the show to Ward Gene Simmons of Kiss. I'll I'll do that next week, in fact. I can tell you're excited about this idea, Gene Simmons of Kiss, because you're starting to sound more like yourself. Ward Gene Simmons of Kiss. Mm. Well, ever since you told me that I wasn't sounding like myself, I decided to start sounding more like myself. You decided to recommit to uh, actually sounding like uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Gene Simmons of Kiss. Granted, I'm still in a very pissy mood. I I know. Even after I played your song, your wonderful song, that actually legitimately is my favorite song from that album. Well, so. it was kind of unclear. I uh, What did he say? I mean, what did I say I wanted to do if I had a gun? If you had a gun... Uh, you'd have you some fun, uh, so don't piss you off today. You know, we could double book him with uh, Jim O'Connell that, that mm. hour, too. Right, okay. yeah. Maybe mm. you could get like 10 words in, in the oh, two hours. Sure, yeah. Let me tell you something. Standing in a room with uh, Jim and John is like uh, a Coke party without the Coke. They talk and 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 they talk. You don't sound like Gene Simmons of Kiss right now, Gene Simmons of Kiss. You sound like somebody else I know making that comment. <laughs> no, it's uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss making that comment. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could have sworn you were somebody. It's weird. It's like you were doing a, It's like you were doing an impression of somebody else, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Uh, is, no, you, it's, it's me. You, it's Gene Simmons of Kiss. You sounded like the uh, like you were doing an impression of the cameraman. <laughs> for for, uh, for John Hopwood's show, it was, it was very strange. It was confusing. We have one rule on uh, Ward uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss. You cannot look at the studio monitor. You know, I know you want to pretend that you have this big audience out there, but it's very disconcerting to, well, you know. Right. For the well, let's get something straight. If I do a show with you, there's going to be a full-length mirror in the studio at all times. Oh, as Jeez, there should yeah. be, as there should be. Yeah, I think I kind of look like uh, I think I kind of look like you, Gene Simmons of Kiss, with uh, like circa nineteen ninety four, nineteen ninety five, with my hat and the long hair in the back and the goatee. You know, right before you guys put the makeup back on. No, you don't. Okay, I think I kind of do actually. Well, nobody does. Like ninety three through ninety five, because you were kind of wearing hats for a while. What we can do is we'll do a show on run, Runaway. You know, he can tell us what Tom Selleck's really like. My sister was yes. a big Tom Selleck fan. And that was a good movie. You were great in that, Mr. Simmons. Yes, Gene you Simmons really of were. Kiss. Yes, yes. Although I enjoyed him more as the uh, hermaphrodite in uh, Wanted Dead or Alive with uh, the great John Stamos. Oh, uh, oh was, no, I'm I sorry. Missed that no, 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 one. I got that wrong. It was Never Too Young to Die with John Samos. Uh, Wanted Dead or Alive was, was with uh, Rutger Hauer, in which he, Rutger, really, in which he, really, he really was Rutger good in that. Hauer. Terrible movie, but uh, but you were uh, stunning in it, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Who's Dutch, by the way. Oh. Yeah. Just for the record, John Stamos is one of the 5,000 women I made love to. <laughs> I did not know 
Only 5,000? This is breaking news. That's only a quarter of well, we all, uh, Wilt Chamberlain's we all, record. We all knew that. But, Gene Simmons of Kiss, are you saying that John Stamos has lady parts? That's all very fluid. Uh, right? No no comma. All right. Well, in these politically correct times, there really is no such thing as gender. So you were just ahead of your time, Gene Simmons of Kiss. A little, That's uh, correct. He is a beautiful. He is beautiful. Yes. A little, uh, you know, a little uh, ripoff of the New York Dolls, but who talks about them anymore? John and Stamos? He smells good. <laughs> Ooh, John Stamos or the New York Dolls? John Stamos. He smells like he looks, John Stamos. I always assumed he smelled like feta cheese. Or, or roast beef. Rotten, rancid roast beef. Well, I was thinking because he's Greek. Is he? Yes, he smells like feta cheese and grape leaves. <laughs> that that sounds actually pretty sexy, to be honest with you. I can understand. Just imagine yes. uh, when he starts sweating. Mm. No. Oh. The, what do they call them? The pheromones or phenomes? Pheromones. Or oh yeah, they, they must really get intense. Mm. What do you smell like uh, uh, when you start sweating, Mister Simmons? You know, we have a bank of lights at the studio up on I, the TV. I call him Uncle Jesse. <laughs> Uncle who? Uncle Jesse. From Full House. That's who John Samos played on Full House, Uncle Jesse. Oh, I stopped watching TV in 1975. Not to be confused with Uncle Jesse from the Dukes of Hazard. That was Denver Pyle. Oh, yeah, you, the great Denver Pyle. You never made love to Denver Pyle, did you, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss? Not as such. It depends on what you consider making love. And I will tell you, he smells good, too. Oh, wow. Particularly in his bib overalls. Oh. He, Warren Beatty notched him up. It was one of his... 25,000 lovers. Wow. Yeah. I had no idea. Well, you know. Warren Beatty and Denver Pyle. I can picture it. He's compulsive in those days. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. He, uh, you know, he's going for Faye Dunaway, but... Right, yes. <laughs> Sometimes you have to just make do. Sure. Oh, well, yeah. Very exciting. Denver Pyle actually helped us write the entire Destroyer album. Oh, I did not know that. Wow. He was very... Uh, in real life, an uh, urban, uh, sophisticated. His whole uh, work is very recherche. Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. No, he was just very money hungry, like the members of Kiss. He would oh, so leave the really set of Dukes of Hazard at 5 o'clock in the afternoon every day. He would join us, get liquored up with Ace and Peter. He's already And uh, <laughs> sit and collaborate the lyrics of uh, Destroyer, the entire... Album. The entire he album. wrote God of Thunder. Wow. I Denver didn't know, Pyle. know that. <laughs> Denver Pyle wrote God of Thunder. Does he get royalties? <laughs> he makes, he makes every time, every time, God of Thunder is, I'm sorry, I'm just having an emotional moment thinking back. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's understandable, Gene Simmons of Kiss. <laughs> now, I always heard Bob. Every, yeah, go ahead. Every time God of Thunder is played on the radio, Denver Pyle gets all the money. <laughs> wow. No kidding. You know what? Or, 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 right. or his estate does. I always thought the... the it, right. Yeah. Yes. His kids. Who really wrote Beth? Beth? Yeah. There is some... Peter some, Chris didn't write There Beth. is some dispute about that, actually. Legitimately. No, that was my answer. That was, that was the answer. Bob Beth. Denver. I thought Bill Beth again. was. I always thought Beth was written by uh, Artemis Pyle. Ba I no, thought it was, it was written by Beth. Oh, Beth wrote Beth it. herself. Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Actually, it was Becky. Yeah, Beck. Jeff, you're Beth right. Jeff was a narcissist. Beth. No, you're right about. Actually, you're right about that because the way Gene Simmons tells it, it was originally called Beck, short for Becky, and then Gene Simmons said, "Well, people are going to think it's about Jeff Beck, and they're going to think you're gay for Jeff Beck." <laughs> You know more about That's Kiss correct. than I thought you did, John Hopwood. That's remarkable. I also know about Jeff Beck. <gasps> but we don't, well, this is a family show. Something to do with him and Gene Simmons? No, it oh. was with Ace, well, Ace Freely. Oh, oh, well. Oh, my goodness. Jeff Beck was indeed light in the loafers, but that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. <laughs> well, he had a heavy burden to carry, you know, with uh, Clapton and all that. Right. You know. That's right. He was only the second greatest, or maybe the third greatest guitarist to come out of the Yardbirds. Mm. Let me ask you. Let me ask you both a question. Why are we talking about Jeff, Jeff Beck like he's dead? <laughs> well, that is well, a his good, career's good question. probably dead. But... No. No, he's still. I'm sorry. He's still touring. <laughs>
Maybe you'll come through the Queen City. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Sounds like the place. It sounds like the place for him to be. Yes, of course, the Queen City. We need our own guitar god. We do, actually. We do. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. in all honesty, Jeff Beck is one of the greatest guitarists that ever lived. Yeah. Well, that's true. I don't think that's in dispute. I mean, I'm, it's just good to know he's still alive. You know, we know someone, uh, Gene Simmons of Kiss, who makes these uh, celebrity death videos for all the people who've uh, passed away. Is Jimmy Page still yeah. alive? Yes. Okay. He hasn't done anything. I'm sorry? Time. Is Jimmy Page still alive? Jimmy Page is alive and well, yes. Is he producing music anymore? I don't know. That's all he's producing. That's all he can produce at this age. Oh, he doesn't tour anymore. Well, he tours. Absolutely. I know. They go like Vegas, him and uh, Robert Plant every now and then. Some god-awful ticket price, like 500 bucks. But that was years ago. In fact, I saw him in the incontinence aisle at Rite Aid Pharmacy just the other night. Ooh. I know he did an unplugged set. Oh, wow. In aisle seven. <laughs> hey, there you go. Now we have, uh, just think of him and Mr. Simmons, Nimrod the musical. I don't, yeah. I don't think Gene Simmons of Kiss knows the uh, reference unless he happened to hear the uh, early part of the show. I did not hear the early part of the show. <laughs> I was touring. Oh, right. That's right, because you're on tour in Europe right now. And it's a different time there. Do you have a show tonight? When are you flying back to uh, uh, New Hampshire? Actually, where I am right now, it's like uh, 6 o'clock in the morning or something. So. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Boy, are you in Hawaii? Just about to have <laughs> breakfast. <laughs> It's, it's 6 o'clock in the morning, and I'm already in a pissy mood. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's 12 yeah. hours the other way. It's funny how how uh, you, you don't quite sound like yourself, Gene Simmons of Kiss, when you realize how early in the morning it is. Well, it's first it's first thing in the morning. Oh, I tend married to... married in the morning. And a lot of people don't realize this, but I smoke a pack of cigarettes first thing in the morning, so my voice... Tends to go in and out, Matt Connerson. <laughs> had no idea, Gene Simmons of Kiss, hey, you were a smoker. Whatever uh, floats your boat. I have mm. a beer in the morning. Do you really? I smoke I have Parliament one hundred. Wow! There you go. That, my uh, aunt uh, Isabel smoked Parliaments. Oh, yeah. well. not one hundred though. She was very proper. In fact, I'm going to name my next album Parliament One Hundred. In honor of the president's trip to uh, England. No, in honor to the, of the cigarettes that I smoke first thing in the morning. Mm. Oh. I figured he'd be like well, an L and M type of, uh, you know, or, or Paul Malls. Well, you just never know with Gene Simmons of Kiss what uh, shocking things he might reveal. Um, we're uh, well, we're running out of time, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Do you have anything you want to? I see uh, that. Do you have anything that you want to plug uh, before we go? Anything that you want us to know? Bringing up Jimmy Page again. Mm. Yeah, yeah, unplug. No, just uh, buy my records, <laughs> buy my Kiss Coffin, buy my products of all kinds. There's still, still some Kiss lunch boxes available. Just go online, eBay.com. Any fanny packs? You can pack? pick some of those up. I don't think you want us buying them from eBay, Gene Simmons of Kiss. I don't think that's where you want us to go for them, is it? <laughs> Why are there? I'm saying, I'm sorry. Why are there still? current ones being made or because uh, i'm thinking of the 70s ones. Oh yes vintage uh no, I, I i assumed you would want us to purchase uh more recent uh uh memorabilia that you get a royalty on yes i mean yes. you got to think of your old age now you just can't keep touring you're not mick jagger i've got to think of the kiss pension Ooh. right all right, I'll let you go, man. We're oh. obviously running out of material. <laughs> All right, Gene Simmons of Kiss. Well, thank you so much for the call. See you next week, Gene. I look forward to seeing you on John Hopwood's show. Okay, well, I'm obviously um, he will in a be on. mode. Yes. I'll guarantee it. Yes. All right, Gene All right, Simmons I, of I, Kiss. I look forward to being your co-host, Hopper. Have a good day. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> you think he might think I'm a Gary Hopper. 
He might be confused, yes. He might be confusing you with Gary Hopper.